Ready, steady, go! Into a watery, weedy world. Swishing my tail just like a little fish. But what's this? Two legs. Four legs. Goodbye, tail. Hello, fresh air. I am a tadpole no longer. Now I am a frog. My big grin and long legs make me the world's jolliest jumper, both above the water and beneath it. Help! My pond is shrinking. That huge metal monster is eating it up. My skin is drying out. I can't breathe properly. Ah, it's you. Life will be safer now. We frogs drink to our skin, so this dish of water is very welcome. Fresh moth carpet. A meal of wriggly mealworms once a day. And shade from the sun. Great. My cousins the tree frogs enjoy living under similar conditions too. But best of all, they love a conservatory where they will not harm plants but eat up unwelcome slugs and insects. This vivarium home is very pleasant for short visits but there's no place like your real home like the pond I was born in. Yes, it was rather similar to that shallow at the edges and deep in the middle. I don't remember a reinforced PVC lining, but I suppose you know what you're doing. Clean, unpolluted water, nice deep mud, stones, plants and insects. At last, I can jump for joy. Oops, sorry. Toads are rather lumpy and grumpy, only emerging from their holes at night. But newts and salamanders enjoy a wriggle in the water and a bask in the sun. Although we may appear to have little in common, we are all members of the same family called amphibians. Over 300 million years ago, our ancestors were the most important creatures on Earth. We are rather less in number and size, but we still need the same double life. Born in water, we grow up to live on land, so we can breathe through our lungs and through our skins too. Pretty smart, huh? But being cold-blooded, we are not so smart at adjusting to changes in temperature. That's too hot. That's too cold. But that's just right. You, being a warm-blooded mammal, have your own built-in central heating. We amphibians have not, so we hide away in cosy quiet places to sleep during the cold winter months. Can you spot me? Here I am. And here I shall stay until the weather warms up. See you next year. Goodbye.